hard drive inside this near top of the range MacBook Pro has a data transfer rate of about 2.8 gigabytes per second. That's incredibly fast, approximately 40 times faster than the 80 megabytes per second that you get on this external hard drive by Western Digital. It's a mechanical hard disk drive, but very popular, very common. Now, almost every video editor or creator is going to run out of space on their internal hard drive and require some kind of external storage solution. For years we've been using these Western Digital hard drives. Mindful that they are of course much slower, but they are an affordable external storage solution for big 4K files that we generate and we need somewhere to put them. You would have thought that if we could run our entire Final Cut or Premiere Pro projects off a super fast internal hard drive, we would see some kind of performance improvement when editing. The internal hard drive is of course 40 times faster than this hard drive. Well, I have conducted endless tests and I cannot contrive a single scenario where it makes any difference whatsoever whether the original video files are stored on a slow external hard drive or a super fast internal hard drive. I'm going to show you the evidence. I just want to show you so you can do with that information as you wish because we went out and spent £600 on two of these SanDisk Extreme Pro hard drives on the basis that we would see some performance improvement along with our super duper brand new MacBook Pro and it makes no difference whatsoever. The hard drive speed is not a bottleneck when video editing. Smooth playback is extremely important for us when we are editing because if you have drop frames it becomes difficult to know where to make your cuts and the whole thing just slows down when you start having to render clips individually and so on and so on. So this was our first test. We ran an H.264 4K drone clip through Final Cut Pro at multiple speeds to see at which point we saw dropped frames. The footage was stored both on the internal hard drive of the MacBook Pro and this Western Digital external hard disk drive. In both instances we got smooth playback all the way up to 4 times speed and then at 8 times speed we started to see dropped frames. To try and better quantify this playback performance we looked into Premiere Pro because they have a dropped frames indicator in there. We ran a similar test and we saw that in both instances we got approximately 660 dropped frames on a 30 second clip that we ran. Again, the storage location of the video file made no difference whatsoever. Now that we have this lovely high performance MacBook Pro, we can scrub through our footage in Finder before we even bring it into our editing software. Now again, we tested this to see if we could see any kind of difference in the frame rate or dropped frames performance when scrubbing through this 4K footage. We could not contrive any situation where we saw a difference in performance when scrubbing through the footage on this MacBook Pro or on this Western Digital Elements external hard drive. Next up we tried rendering out this extremely effects laden clip from our Panasonic GH5. There's tons of stuff on there, it was going to give the computer and the hard drives a real workout. We stored the file on the external hard drive, Western Digital, we stored it on one of these solid state drives and we stored it on the internal drive. Exactly the same performance for render time within a fraction of a second. It came in about 14 seconds for all three tests. In Premiere Pro we ran a similar test, a 30 second H.265 Mavic 2 Pro clip with a LUT, added some noise, added some film grain, it was all done in high quality, full quality, blah blah blah, rendered it out. 57 seconds for the file stored on the MacBook Pro, 59 seconds for the file stored on the Western Digital Elements hard drive. I kept an eye on the RAM situation throughout all of these tests to see if there was a bottleneck there. This computer has 16 gigs of RAM. At no point could I see any RAM strain as indicated by the activity monitor here on the computer. Now think about it, when a computer opens an application, that application goes from the hard drive into the RAM for super fast access as required. The RAM on this computer has a data transfer rate of about 21 gigabytes per second. It's unbelievably fast, that's why we only get 16 gigs of it. Far too expensive to make a hard drive at that speed. If a file is opened from your hard drive, in all likelihood that goes into the RAM as well for quick and easy access. So if that's the case then as long as there's enough time for that file to get from your hard drive, whatever hard drive that is, into your RAM, it doesn't make any difference what speed that hard drive is because it's going to be rendering, it's going to be playing back, it's going to be exporting from the RAM. 
not from the hard drive. This is my theory, at least, for why hard drive speed makes absolutely no difference to video editing performance because the system is being run off the RAM. Now, to try and test that, rather than use small files like we did up until this point, we imported 200 gigabytes of video files into Final Cut Pro for a big wedding project. Now, of course, there's no way the RAM can store 200 gigabytes of video footage for instant access, and we ran some more tests to see if we could construct any scenario whereby maybe we exceeded the performance abilities of one of these hard drives and saw a deterioration in performance. So let's roll those tests. Relinking files is something you have to do if you chop and change your storage locations for your media and I figured that might be an interesting way of seeing how fast the software can access the hard drive and in this case as I say we had 200 gigabytes of video files to relink. Performance was exactly the same, let me just double check the exact numbers here. When we relinked 200 gigs from the desktop it took 50 seconds. Oh, and when we relinked it from the Western Digital Elements hard drive, it took 47 seconds. It was faster to relink from this hard drive. Now, as I say, there was not 200 gigs of video footage in the RAM, was there? We tested the speed at which Final Cut would open and launch the 200 gigabyte wedding project. With the data stored on the computer, it took 10 seconds. With the data stored on the external hard drive, it took 11 seconds. So I don't think we can read too much into that. Now, of course, the application Final Cut is stored on the super fast hard drive and the computer in both tests. So you wouldn't expect a massive performance difference, but again, 200 gigs of data, I thought it might matter. The speed at which it could access, it didn't really. In the interests of completeness, we ran exporting tests of the internal hard drive, the SanDisk Extreme Pro and the Western Digital Elements. A nice 30 second clip, H.265 with some colour grading applied to it. It made no difference across the board, 23 seconds every time. The CPU and the GPU are the bottlenecks when it comes to exporting speed, not the hard drive speed. So in conclusion, do with that information as you wish. I've given you the evidence. I've tried to be as transparent and as intellectually honest here as possible. I have no agenda. I'm not trying to sell you these. I'm not trying to stop you from purchasing them. I just want you to know when you buy one what to expect because I was expecting a fantastic performance improvement and we haven't seen any of that. Now as it happens, I'm perfectly happy because you can't break these and these are very breakable. So it's still a worthwhile investment, but in terms of editing speed, it makes no difference. And I think that comes down to a fundamental misunderstanding or overlooking or forgetting the fact that ultimately these don't really influence how computers work. We're talking about the interaction of the CPU, the GPU and the RAM. The application is loaded into the RAM in all likelihood. The video file are loaded into the RAM. As a consequence, the hard drive speed is completely bypassed. It's the computer speed that matters, not the hard drive speed. I'm not a tech guy. By all means, flesh that out for me in the comments below, but from my research after the event, that would seem to be the explanation. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this subject. As always, it's been a fascinating investigation and experimental process for me. Please do keep in touch and let me know. I've got more content of this nature coming. By all means, subscribe to the channel and we will see you next time.